the same enemy of progress, haters. Haters are there for a reason. Hello, 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 my lovely people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. It depends on where you're watching from. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Jane. If this is the first time that you are seeing me, thank you so much for stopping by. When you finish watching, consider subscribing. If you are a return subscriber from Maha to you, I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We are going up. Hmm. We are getting there. Oh. So my people, don't give up on me. I will not give up on myself. So I am here today. I hope everybody is doing okay. Huh? This thing that is happening, eh? This thing that is happening, this virus that is happening, God is taking care of it. It will go. I never thought it we would see we will be alive today to see all this, but God is making it possible. Always have a reason to thank God. Always have a reason to say thank you, Jesus, for bringing us to this. I know a lot of people passed away, but. If God didn't allow it, it will not happen. It will not happen. So thank God every day when you wake up. May God richly bless you. So today, I'm here today to encourage you on this. I wrote my stuff down. You know, like I said, when I remember, I write down. I write down so I can not forget. I could be at work. I remember one thing. I write it down so I don't forget. So when I pick up my video uh, to do, because I don't edit my video. So when I put whatever I put on my video, bam, I send it out. That's how I do. I don't edit. I just talk, finish, bam, out. That's how I talk. So my people today, I am here to encourage you. I have about 11 things that you must do. This is uh, 20 that you must do or you must not do. Something that you can do to kind of encourage yourself. So, let's go to number one that you must never, never, never do. Do not live for others. Number one. Do not live for others. Live for yourself. Live and say whatever it is that you do. He said, I did this because... I want to do this. I did this because he made me happy. I did this because I want to succeed in doing it. Do not do it because you're doing it for Jane or you're doing it for your mother. Or you're doing it for your father. Or you're doing it for whomever. No, do not do that. Do it because you love it. Do it because that's what makes you happy. Do not live for others because you have your own life to live. That is for sure. When we are growing up, our parents will always say they want you to be a doctor. They want you to do this. But when we came to America here, or when we are in abroad, you have your children. The children say, this is what I want to do. Period. My last son, I said, um, my husband tried very, very well to tell him uh, to do pharmacy or do something. He said, dad, this is what I want to do. And there's nothing you can do. He's the one that's going to read it. So he's the one he has already researched it and thought about what it is that he wants to do. Let him be himself. He's the one. As long as they're doing something, so be it. Let it be. Um, <clears throat> if you're a woman, do the second one, do not depend on men. Do not depend on men on anything. You can do whatever a man can do. For sure, for sure. If anybody tells you that what a man can do, you cannot do. You can even tell, do better. If a woman will carry baby in the back, is cooking, is talking on the phone, is doing it. Women can do a lot. So if you're a woman and somebody tells you that you cannot do, tell them that they are talking rubbish. You can do it. Put your foot down and say, I can do it. And when you say you can do it, put all your effort and everything in it. You can do it, my sister. Mm -hmm. You can uh-huh this one this one is the same thing which uh don't depend on men but this one is number three is if you don't do something for yourself eh, you will be a slave for a lot of things you would be slave for a lot of things so this one is very easy very straightforward try and do something for yourself so that people will not use you back and forth because they are doing something for you or they are doing whatever. They think they can just run you around. No, do something for yourself so you will not be slave for nobody. That's, that's all I'm going to tell you. You see, all the enemy of progress, eh? Hmm. You see, all the enemy of progress, don't let them kill your, kill your joy. 
do not do not let enemy of progress uh, sometimes i watch something or no matter what thing that you are doing no matter how great that thing is you see somebody come out uh, there was a there's a video that you will watch that oh my god even hell even devil will give that in thumbs up but you see people give it thumbs down so i'm like how is the person where did what part of video did this person watch that made the person give this video a thumbs down but hey enemy of progress they don't want you to progress but don't let them stop you that's number uh that's number four Number five, the same enemy of progress, haters. Haters are there for a reason. Yeah. Number five, you see haters. They are there for a reason. They are there to make you strong. There's nothing you will do that will make them happy. It's the same thing with the one I just said. Haters. When haters, the more they hate, and you see haters, they are not happy. That's what makes somebody hate. They are not happy, and they don't want you to be happy. So do not allow it. Do not allow it. I don't care what they say. Girls, ladies, do not be desperate. When you are desperate, oh my God, a whole bunch of stuff will come your way. When you are desperate, you take something that other, pers other people spat out. You grab because you're desperate. Especially the women that want to get married. They want to get married by fire, by force. It does not matter what comes their way. As long as that person has pants on, they don't care. They just want to answer Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, whoever. Do not be desperate. Because when you are desperate, they see through you. They know exactly what you are looking for. And most of the time when they come, they grab whatever it is that they are there for and they are gone. Excuse me, guys, for my pen and my paper that I have. I am very sorry. But I work with paper and pens because I have to write my stuff down. So do not be, do not be uh, desperate. Please don't tell people that. Uh, that's another one. He don't like me. She don't like me. No. They can decide on whoever it is that they want to like. It doesn't matter. If somebody don't like you, do you like yourself? I love myself. Or I don't care who like me or who doesn't like me. What people talk about me does not bother me. What people say behind me does not bother me. As long as you don't come in front of me to say it, direct me and say, Jen, I am talking about you that you did so, 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 so. If you think I did anything wrong, just call me and say, Jen, is it true that you did so? So then I will tell you. But if you are behind, you're following the haters to talk. Now your problem. That's your problem. I will not stop you from talking because that's the kind of person you are. That's why that you are following them to talk. You see, <laughs> this one here. I've already said it. I said, do not let anybody put you down. Do not let anybody, I don't care who they are, don't care if they have two heads and you only have one. Even if they have ten and you only have one. Do not let anybody put you down. Put your foot down. Say it the way it is. If people don't like it, eh? Because you're speaking up your mind. They are reading you. When you speak up your mind and put your foot down and say, <laughs> Don't even cross. If you cross, I will bite. They will not mess with you. People don't mess with me anyhow. Especially when you are at work. They will push you around and push you around. They will spin you and toss you around to see how much they can, they can get out of you. If you allow it, you will be the idiot. You will be a slave in that job. Put your foot down. They don't have two heads. It doesn't matter for us in abroad. It doesn't matter if you are a foreigner or not a foreigner. I am a United States... Uh, citizen now and nobody nobody cannot do anything about it i already got it i already have it so if you don't like it if you are there hating because i'm a citizen of this country i am sorry for you i will not let you put me down and you putting me down it won't work anyway i know who i am i know exactly who i am and hey and because i know who i am and you know your job you know what you're doing let people talk 
women, please do not move into any man's house without the person marrying you. As soon as they said, would you marry me? You pack your stuff and move in there. Don't do it. Don't do it. We never have respect in that house. As far as that house is concerned, you will never have respect. If tomorrow you and him will quarrel or have one, because the quarrel will come now. You will have a little misunderstanding. He said, did I ask you to marry me? Didn't you pack your stuff and come in here? You will never, and how long can you continue to cry? Mm. Don't, please. It, let me tell you, this one I have a, I have, uh, how many self have I said? I think this one is number 10. Let me tell you, I tell myself every day that I look beautiful. Eh? I get in the mirror, I look at myself, I say, hey, this girl, you fine, no? Oh? I am so beautiful. I feel myself every day. The only reason, the only time I will not feel myself is if I, if I gain so much weight or whatever. But no matter what, huh, oh, I beg. I love myself so much. And my husband knows that. Or my children knows that. When they see me flexing or showing, showing that I look beautiful, I might not look beautiful to you. I might not. To, I might be the ugliest person in the world to you. But to me, I am the prettiest thing in the world. If you don't like it, you know exactly what to do. The police, call them. You don't have to like me for me to like myself. It's because most people don't like themselves. They don't know how to show themselves love. And people keep using them. Do not allow people to use you. Tell yourself that you look beautiful. Even if you're the ugliest person, who will know? Who will know? Who will tell you that you're the ugliest person? It's because you told yourself that you're ugly. That's why they are telling you that you're ugly. Don't tell yourself that you're ugly, my sister. I am the prettiest thing that God made. People don't like it. Oh, well, too bad. Too bad. You see this one? Eh? This 11 to 1. You see all these fake people? All these fake people, they will go to store. They will take a picture of a, of a store, a, 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 a clothes in the store, and they will post it. And they will go to somebody's house. They will, uh, <laughs> they will take a picture of your house. They will post it and say it's your own. It happened sometime last year when a girl went and took somebody's house and posted it in there. Fake, fake, fake. You're not working for yourself. You're just looking for... A lot of people will go to shop. They will uh, come in front of this house. This is my job place. They will come in front of this house and they will take a picture of it and post it in their wall and say it's their house. It's not their house. And even if it's their house, and so what? Who cares? Nobody is paying your bill. Nobody is giving you food. Even if it's their house, so be it. You go to in, in front of another person's car. They stand right there and pose and say it's their house. He doesn't pay my bills. It could be your it could be your car that is their car. It could be your car. We don't care. So stop letting fake people deceive you. Fake is fake. Some of these people that are fake in their homes, their parents don't even have anything to eat. But they on social media faking like crazy. If you know those people, if they are your friends. Please get away from them because they will only deceive you. Or they will make you start living like them. And then when you become like them, you they will start stealing. That's why they have a lot of people that steal. A lot of people that want to do people money because they want to live fake life. If you live fake life, you will never, never, never concentrate enough to make something for yourself. It's just an advice I'm giving you for free. May God richly bless you. Take it or leave it. It's up to you. Lady Jane said so. Bye-bye. <laughs>